G'day everyone, welcome to the Opal Mills. So, starting out again at Andavuka. And we're out at the mine at the moment. So we'll just come back this way. And yeah, we go down, start having a dig around, see what we can't find this trip. <laughs> down a bit below the second level, flush all the floor up with the first level, then go through both levels at once. So we're just taking the floor out at the moment, not much to see, and uh, yeah, I'll just keep you updated with the progress. Alright, big amount of dirt, it's come out of all there. Sifted through all this loose stuff here, started some little piles here and there, running out of room. So we're going to uh, get a uh, little scooper two out with the excavator and bear it back again, see what I can see. So nothing yet. another champion effort. I think we've filmed for 20 minutes. And just that 20 minutes. Wow. The way I feel, it would have taken me over a week to, to even think about clearing half of that. And I would have had to drag a wheelbarrow around to shovel it as far as it's gone. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, here we are. Back down to bare earth again. See if I can uh, point a couple of things out. So where are we? That level up there was sort of the first level that we were at a few videos ago. And then we started going through a bit and going down. And then we sort of stopped, came back, went down and found the second level, which I started bringing in, which is still stepping up. And then onto the where the first is cleared. So by the time all this here is brought forward to around about there, all that forward is one and two layers. And we'll be keeping going through those till we've got enough space cleared to maybe bench down again to see if we can find the third layer. And fourth and fifth and sixth. No. Um level. Sorry, layer. So yeah, this is a 
godsend having heavy machinery around since I don't own any myself and um, yeah that's just a huge amount of floor space to now venture into that's fantastic because we're going by hand you know as, you, as you've seen and uh, that's an amazing amount as you can see all this side sand just blows straight in from up the top and so it's just going to get filled in along those corners there where the wall goes up and the floor comes out that's all just going to get filled up so it constantly needs clearing <coughs> or it just encroaches further and further and further and further out so yeah there we are i'm a happy man that is an awesome amount so yeah, we're chilling through this ground compared to the last claim that we were in with the hard ground and no machinery as such, except jackhammers and a wheelbarrow. So we're sort of plowing through this a little bit quicker in the first month, month and a half that we've been here. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue on down there for a bit with some jackhammer and uh, shoveling and sift through it and see what we can't find. But I might go for a walk and uh, I'm told I might might have something that I might want to look at, so I might go and have a look at it. All right, thought I'd better start recording. <laughs> uh, plugging away through this bench. I look down. I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. I wasn't sure if it was potch or not, but decided to give it a nick on another corner. It seems to run all the way through. So, otherwise that would have just looked like a rock or a lump of dirt or a clot of the ground. What you want to call it clay and yeah unfortunately no color visible at the moment but i can only see there and there not saying anything else is going to happen here it's probably low chance of color judging by that but we'll see what happens and yeah just straight <coughs> excuse me straight down here she flies i'm not hungry yeah straight down here um, in the wet clay sort of material so I'm gonna have a another bash around with the hand tools see what I can find anything similar but there's no seams that run into this you don't tap around and find the seams of opal that you chase it and then oh look at that this was just a I assume you call it a floater it's just a whole chunk of opal Covered in, I think it's called white copai. Sort of a softish, almost chalky sort of material. But yeah, and the clay. So it came out and looked very shiny. It's dried out a bit now, but I should have capturing that on the camera there. That should have, it's, it's very uh, smooth. It's just compressed in amongst the clay and it, separated and this plopped out that way up so i'm glad i've seen that otherwise i would have tapped away and unless i heard this go clunk of some kind but um just sounds like a rock for all intensive purposes uh, if you don't check every rock um, you won't find the potch. Uh, no, you won't find the opal. Potential colour, maybe. So anyway, cool. First piece in the mine. <laughs> Big chunk of potch. Awesome. Yeah, I might clean up as a specimen of some kind. Since it's a whole opalised rock. I don't know. But yeah, so I'll keep plugging away and 
come back if there's anything more interesting. All right, so got all the uh, sorted dirt up and out the way. So we're gonna head down here and uh, get down through the first, shoot like second layer, just under it, and see if I can't find some more. Okay, so yeah, it's just been plugging away. A little bit deeper, a little bit in. Probably about this far. About half a foot to a foot further in and yeah, just expanding, expanding until it's finally uh, just bench forward. It's got to run out of floor space at the moment. This mound behind me is getting a little bit big. <laughs> And uh, oh, come on, flies. Um, <laughs> they're uh, quite friendly. Yeah, I'll be back at it in the morning. But yeah, shadow is a little bit too long in the tooth, so you can't really see too well, which you kind of need to. So, yeah, just that one bit of matrix punch, uh, <laughs> which is a sign. First signs of life at least. Doesn't have to be intelligent life, but it's a sign of life. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow find out where the rest of it is. If it leads to anything. Okay, next day. Back at it again. I thought I'd try and point out the slight progress I'm making. <laughs> um, so we started over this side. And the level was sort of up here going through. So the uh, top level sort of been cleared some and it dips down in others. So there's still a bit of it in amongst all this here. Um, but this scoop just here, which is a bit hard to point out, the wall was here a bucket width across to over just there and uh, this came straight through I'll get back around this way so as this wall ran it ran across that way and so taken a big gouging bite out of it and gone down to the second level at the same time um, under this pile here that's down as well but all that's all this has been chucked up there, all this has been chucked there. So now that's going to get slowly thrown back over that way as well while I bite in a bit more. So we might have to just get this cleared. So I've got the second level floor and the bench. So that's where we're at at the moment. Haven't come across anything else, not even potch. <laughs> okay, so down here, I'd come across this really kind of stuck in the ground rock and this bit here was attached somewhat that way sorry about this so that was in there and it's like that so I got this bit out and it sort of broke apart no damage done majorly and we're not going to be able to see it too well here. I have to take it and film it a bit better. <laughs> and uh, same on this face. But when I went to take this rock out, it's got a natural fault straight through the guts of it. Oh, look, a matching pair of earrings. <laughs> so, when I looked even closer, this edge here is all encrusted. And this layer here is actual opal. So I'm just gonna lift that up and see. Probably stop straight away right there, but yeah. I'm gonna take it back and have a better look. So anyway, yeehaw. Okay, so I've brought these back just had a look at them. Gave them a little bit of a tidy up. And they're just normal potchy painted lady. 
and they've been naturally broken in the ground. So there's a face there, a face there, some around the end of that big one, and on a bit of this. This joins up to those two, and those two join together, and then join to that one. <clears throat> so that's all was one rock, came out in four bits. So yeah, well, at least it's at least it's the glassy stuff. It's um it's only potch, but it's not dead matrix. So that's a sign. A sign of potch. <laughs> but no, uh, a sign that there's the glassy stuff there too. So getting closer. I hope. So, that was a long week. I'm back in Adelaide now, and uh, yeah, there wasn't too much happening in the claim. Just a bit of digging, and uh, as you would have seen, some rocks. So, since there was, uh, <laughs> should have been matrix if it had color, and I'm learning that we'll call this dead matrix, not matrix potch. So, dead matrix on the menu, and one potch painted lady. She wasn't wearing her good clothes today, so not that colorful. <laughs> so that stayed up at Andamuka because it was too big to cart home, and yeah, no point. But I thought these are good for a bit of a teaching aid, if nothing less. Make the most of, uh, you know, lemons. I'm gonna make some lemonade. So we're gonna learn something here. The importance of why you should crack open all the rocks is they all just look the same, pretty much. In the ground, when they come out, they're just coated. Some you can see have a layering of quartz, quartzite type rock. And so you know pretty much straight away, I'll give them a chip anyway, but there's not much happening with those. Um, and then you get one like this, so it's like chip it open, it's just very, very soft chalky powder, uh, soft rock inside, and it's, they're kind of about the same weight. It's a little bit lighter, but not much. And so the weight wouldn't tell you anything, and I think tapping the uh, hammer against it, or chisel against it, and, uh, yeah, get a bit of a sound going, and you sort of can hear a bit of a difference. Um, what have we got here? So you got your that sort of sound, and this one's a bit of a very similar. So there's not much difference in the sound wise, because you're tapping the outside rock, and this is the same as that, so it's pretty much the same. And because they're pretty dense rocks, as I say, the weight's about the same. So they sort of sound the same. So there's not much telling there. So you just got to give them a nick and hope for the best. Um, but yeah, just to, just to show you that that's what they look like, regardless of what's in it, they all look the same pretty much. And yeah, you never know. Hopefully next one I crack open, we'll have some rainbow on it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that's all I had to bring home to this trip and I've got a whole bunch more videos I've got to get on with, but if you're going to go mining, there's no point coming home empty handed. So, couldn't help myself, I'll just put a parcel while I was up there. It's actually about three parcels, but I just put them all in the one jar. So, uh, thanks to Angel. Much appreciated for that, and uh, let's see what I can get out of it. But also, another specimen. So we'll just go over here and have a look at this. So this was as it comes out the ground. And this is a bit of a strange bit of dead matrix. So it broke up. You can see the layerings. Little fracture marks as well from where it was cracked open or struck a bit hard somehow. But there's this really strange, I find, green in it. 
and it's not green color like opal green that you'd expect. And just to highlight it, in, well, that was all together, and this bit joins on there with that. And there's a bit more to it, but we'll just stick with these bits. But the green continues. So it's a bit, a bit strange green potch <laughs> or a dead matrix. So we'll just pull the pot in, pour a bit of water on it, and you sort of see what I'm talking about. dark and light shades so I thought it might just make something for an interesting stone if nothing else and there's some more bits and they've all got the same sort of green in them a green stain of some kind Get on the camera idea what it is it's probably just yeah nothing new to most people but I've never seen it before so yeah I'm gonna take a few slices and see if it cabs so that was just an interesting specimen you type piece anyway and for maybe a carving there's this big chunk Now that would have been fantastic if there was colour in it, especially for the size of it. But unfortunately, no, it just was not to be. But she's huge. So yeah, might be something to play around with. Clean it up as another specimen. So yeah. Um, that's that for down here. There's, yeah, a few more bits and pieces. Um, yeah, more of the same. So we'll go back up the table. Okay, so we'll have a better look at this, but first, before I forget again, um, I did do a video. <laughs> it was a silly video, because I just used super glue. Um, but that's that, that's what super glue looks like. If I'd have done a better job, I might have got them out, but it stayed up pretty well polished. Didn't really pay too much attention. <laughs> I had to muck around, but that's super glue. Waste of time. But I finally got Starb on Thin. So we're going to use some of that in the next video to treat this piece. I've sold the rest of that, so I'll have to do some more um, slicing. <laughs> now, Back to this piece, or this container. Let's zoom in. There's quite a few little bits and pieces in here. Not all are gonna cut gems, but it's a really nice crystal, clean, jelly type of purple. That's got so much purple in it. It's just not coming through properly. You know, it's much lighter than what it's showing. More like that shade up there, through there. Anyway, a few odds and sods in amongst it. Some nice little bits of carving. Some colour on the tip there, nice bit of colour actually. It goes through the potch. This bit caught my eye, hopefully it comes out on the camera. Very thin bar over there. Try and salvage. Fortunately, it doesn't go all the way through, but it does have colour through. A couple of bands through there. So I'm not sure what I can do. Maybe get another stain at the bottom there. So it does have colour. It's just not coming through properly. There we go. Down there, you can see all that green jelly. So we'll see if we can get a couple of stones out of that, but only focus on that one there. 
Beautiful. Nice bit of dark base. Um, what else we got in here? I haven't actually looked through this property yet. I noticed that piece. <laughs> and uh, it's got a few bits and pieces in it, but it's got a nice little clear spot in here. So I might get a really nice tidy little stone out of it. Beautiful colour. Totally crystal. Um, nice. Oh, wow. That's right. I remember this bit. I'm not sure if it's going to light up for me, but it's got some amazing colour in this piece. Both sides. So I'll have to do that in a carving, I think. Some fantastic colour in that. Clean up just under there. But I do like that colouring. Yeah, it's gonna be some fun. Yeah, a bit of potch mostly. Just another thick bit of purple. Majority purple. Um, I guess we got a lot of blue. Yeah, there's not much of it. <laughs> See if I can get out of that. It's a nice colour through the side, but it's just not going to translate through the face. Maybe that way I'll get something out of it. Looks a bit better that way up. Yeah. Fair bit here to play with. That'll uh, keep me going again for a bit longer. Hang on a sec. Judy calls. I'm home now. <laughs> right, back to this. Uh, here we go. It's a nice little bit of crystal in there. Good little carving. Salvage job. Um, a bit of colour in there. Might get a little stain out of it somehow. Maybe. It's not super thick bar. But for what I paid for this, this is an amazing little parcel. A couple of stones there will get the money back, not a problem. Probably even just this one. Wow, get it carved up nicely. It's pretty bright actually. It's not quite coming through on the camera as well. Yeah, nice little crystals. So yeah, that'll be a bit of fun. Be able to get to this straight away. I gotta, as I said, oh, look at that blue. <laughs> uh, you can't keep them all. I'm tempted. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'll keep me busy for a while, but I can't get to this straight away. I've got um, Winston Miles subscriber parcel coming up, and he's in the UK, so I'm gonna do it around. 6.30 to 9.30 Adelaide time, but I'm gonna try and do a live stream. And uh, first I'll get onto the start on. But yeah, that's an up upcoming video. Um, I've got to treat some more matrix, slice some more matrix, the concrete. Well, I should start calling it the rainbow matrix, as it's fondly known. And I've highly underestimated it. It's actually quite sought after stuff, I'm finding. So, hmm. I'll keep you posted on that when I get to it. But for now, I might have to just wind this one up and start getting on with the next video. And uh, yeah, also just might show you a couple of things at the end of this video that I came across in the trip since there wasn't much opal as such. <laughs> but there's plenty to see in Andamooka, so yeah, here's a few things. Yeah, that little friend again. Hey buddy, looking pretty healthy. 
Getting a lot bigger. Quite a few bugs up there for you. Gorgeous pattern. I'll leave you alone. There's old mate. Hey, old mate. How'd you go since last time? Did you end up finding any opal? Doesn't look like you found a friend. Hey, buddy. There's the same spot I seen you last time. You must be a local. You've got to be. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we did this last time. It was a bit further over there, though, by the signs. The 50 signs. Walks around behind the mound. And then... <laughs> oh, gosh. Hold the camera still. So you're sitting on your stash of opal, you don't want to part with any? I'll go buy you some emu feed, would you trade? He's just nodding, smiling and walking away slowly. I don't know whether to be insulted or not. <laughs> well, have a good day bud. Hello. How you going? Are you finding much opal out here, mate? Yo, mate, emu's not much good. You got any ideas? Hey. Hello. We're out here in Andamooka and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd ask old mate here. He's about as sociable as old mate Emu and uh, where's the maple? Oh, are you trying to show me it's over this way? Do you want me to follow you? Is that what we're doing here? Hey? Hey? Hope you're not like them lizards. Come at me, bruh. Hey. Hey. How are you, dude? You doing much out here? Hey. Not much happening, is there? Hey. I best leave you alone, eh? You're looking at me like you want to go me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm probably only about 15 metres away from him.
They're so cute. Such great colours. Yeah. Oh, there's a fly for you, mate. Get him. Oh, you missed your dinner. This is, I'm a bit <laughs> nervous. Yeah, there's he plenty is. where that one came from. Is, well, you're all looking at me. I don't even know which way to run. <laughs> I saw that car come in, so I'm nervous about it. I ran under a tent and then they took away my coverage. <laughs> He's just not faster than a lizard. 